So diabetes insipidus. A diabetes insipidus is a disease in which uh, the patients um, either have a deficiency in ADH, which is central di diabetes insipidus, or if the patient is having resistance to the ADH at the receptor level, that's nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. So vasopressin, so antidiuretic hormones, is responsible for the maintenance of water balance by regulating water absorptions in the kidney. Without ADH, the kidneys collecting two uh, duct cells are impermeable to water, causing water to be lost to the body via urines. When ADH is present, however, water is free to osmotically move across the collecting duct cells. Patients uh, with um, diabetes insipidus pass very watery, diluted urines, making them dehydrated and they become dirty. So diabetes insipidus can be partial, complete, and is caused by two mechanisms of uh, uh, deficiency of ADH called central diabetes insipidus or a resistance to ADH on the actions of the kidneys which is called nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. What do we do to differentiate between um, Central diabetes insipidus and nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. There's a test called water deprivation test. What happened is that when we see that the um, the two consecutive symbol of the uh, urine has little change in the urine osmolality of uh, less than 30 mi uh, milli osmo. Then we give them five units of the aqueous uh, vasopressins and then we measure the urine osmolality one hour after. So if there's a change of less than 10 percent then we would conclude that it is a nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, which is due to the resistance of ADH in the kidney by the receptors in the kidney and not central diabetes insipidus because if we give them five units of aqueous vasopressins and if the patient has um, central diabetes insipidus which means that they didn't uh, which means that they didn't produce enough ADH then there would be a, there would be a greater increase which is more than 50% of increase in the um uh in the osmolarity of the urines so then the the the, the kidney would concentrate the uh, urines more so th so then we would see a greater increase when there is a lack of ADH since um, this case there is a resistance to ADH so no matter how much ADH we give them it still doesn't work because the at the receptor level uh, the ADH receptor does not respond to ADH therefore no matter how much we give them to patients with nephrogenic diabetes insipidus the urines won't concentrate so that's it nephrogenic